In this video, we'll figure out whether KNO2 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. This is potassium nitrite. To figure that out, we need to know the neutralization reaction that produced the potassium nitrite here. If we add HNO2 plus KOH, we will end up with KNO2, there's our potassium nitrite, and water. This is a neutralization reaction. We have our salt and water. So we have our reaction. Now we need to know the strength of the acid and the base. To do that, we can use this table here. So we look on our table. Well, let's look for HNO2. We don't see it under the strong acids. It's also not listed under the weak acids, but if it's not under the strong acids, we can assume that this is going to be a weak acid. These are our major strong acids. For KOH, we look strong bases, and it's right here. So KOH, that is a strong base. So now we know the strength of the acid and the base in our neutralization reaction. Looking at our rules here, we're looking for a weak acid and a strong base. So here's a strong base, but a strong acid, weak base. Here's a weak acid and a strong base. So this rule tells us if we have HNO2 plus KOH, we would expect the solution to be alkaline greater than 7. So it's alkaline. And in response to our question, is KNO2 acetic, basic, or neutral? It is basic. That's the same thing as alkaline when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.